Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Aurora, how it's high risk, high return on investment. What I mean by this, the high risk is that the stock could, the company could go bankrupt, which I don't think will happen, but that's, that is a possibility. The company needs to flip a profit. They need to show investors that they are going to survive. And they basically need to get the entire world to open up because Aurora has a, a lot of big facilities. They have the Aurora Sky, which they spent $150 million on to build. They have the Aurora Sun, which they spent probably $200 million to build. And they have Aurora Nordic, which they spent probably another $150 million to build. So in, in total, the, the three facilities add up to probably $700 million of capital investment they put into those three facilities, uh, roughly. And then there's also like the Metro Leaf facilities, uh, which you know, one of them they shut down. They paid uh, $150 million plus stock to acquire the Canamed facility, which that they had to shut down because they are trying to cut back on costs. Uh, so that that's like $150 million waste. But they have that facility, you know, which they are probably going to try to sell to get some money back because they probably need the cash. But hopefully their cash burn has gone down significantly and they will flip a profit uh, the stock price right now is five dollars and five cents, and I, in my opinion, I think it's gonna go lower. I think Aurora is probably going to go to about three U.S. dollars, maybe even two U.S. dollars, sometime in the near future. But when it does go down to that, those prices, I think the return on investment could be ridiculous on Aurora if it goes down to two or three US dollars because uh, especially if the company doesn't go bankrupt because if they ever flip a small profit a small profit like five maybe ten million dollars of profit if they ever do that the stock would skyrocket it would skyrocket and let's hope that you know the uh, the new CEO and the executive can execute on a strategy to become profitable, because they need to be profitable. They need to be profitable to continue to execute on the strategy. And that's the reality of it. Right now, the company is under a lot of pressure. The sentiment is very negative, but the but this creates a huge opportunity. This creates a huge opportunity in my opinion. The risk, the biggest risk is the company could go bankrupt and you could lose all your money. That is the biggest risk. But the return on investment is ridiculous. So, you know, the stock can, you know, if Europe ever goes legal, this stock could easily be worth five, ten billion dollars easily. If Europe and United States become fully legal, I think a royal stock will get rewarded big time. Uh, but especially Europe. Europe is more important to Aurora than the United States because, let's be honest, Aurora doesn't really have a presence in the United States right now and they would have to acquire a company or merge with another company in order to have presence in the United States. So, for now, Aurora is a big speculation play, but the return on investment can be ridiculous if the if Europe ever becomes legal because they have three big facilities that has potential to ship products because they're, uh, they're designed to be EU GMP certified so if Europe ever becomes legal and Aurora can ship overseas their mass amount of products their revenues are going to skyrocket the earnings are going to skyrocket. They're going to make a ton of money and the stock is going to get rewarded. But they need Europe. They need Germany. They need Europe. They need a big country in Europe like Germany to legalize recreational. If that happens, the stock is going to blow up like no tomorrow. Right now, it's all about focus on survivability, focus on not going bankrupt, focus on becoming profitable. 
and getting the stock price back up. It will happen eventually, but for the moment, the stock is downtrending and it will continue to keep going down. And this only creates an opportunity in my opinion. So it's just my opinion. So we'll see what happens in the near future. So Aurora is uh, on the Canadian side is down uh, uh, is 763 million. It's funny because they are the same market cap as they were back in the day I invested into them when they were traded on the Canadian Security Exchange. So the New York Stock Exchange don't matter at all. It's all on the company execution. If the company can execute and excite investors, the stock will go up. So yeah, they have the same market cap as they did when they basically had nothing. And now they have like a lot more than what they had five years ago. And they, ha they have the exact same market cap, which, you know, I would call undervalued. But again, I still think the stock price is heading down lower. That's my opinion. We'll see if that happens. Uh, the lower it goes, the more attractive an investment it becomes, in my opinion. Uh, high return, high, uh, high, high risk, high return, uh, in my opinion. But... The lower, the lower the stock price goes, the lower the risk goes, in my opinion, because, and the higher the rewards, because you're buying into a company that's cheap. But we'll see what happens. Um, so Aurora, you know, the, the earnings wasn't too bad. I mean, they did have very strong gross margins, and they also reduced the SG&A, and they also uh, improved the... EBITDA but they, they still lost money and their revenues was down from last quarter which was didn't make investors happy because investors wanted to see the company grow their revenue not decrease their revenue so they decreased their revenue uh, from 72 million last quarter to 76 million but they did, did increase their gross profit which is a good thing so, yeah, um, I want to scroll down here further. This is what I want. This is the most concerning right here. I'm hoping Q1 and Q2, the cash to use in operation gets reduced dramatically because they cannot afford to be spending $63 million per quarter to build out their facilities. They cannot, they, they, they should be done building out their facilities. They should only... They should not be using any more cash in operations. They should only be making money right now. Their focus should be just making money and not use any more cash in the operations. Maybe 10 to 15 million dollars to get the Germany the German facility completed, but besides that, I don't think they should use any more cash in the operation. They're, they're spending way too much money. I'm hoping that next quarter the operational the cash use in operation is be reduced to like ten million dollars. I would be very happy to see that. They paid off some debt, which is good. Debt and interest payments down fifty three million, uh, but and their cash total for the 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 quarter was one hundred and sixty two million. It would have been a lot worse if they would uh they didn't raise cash from selling the investments and uh f proceeds raised through equity insurance which i'm thinking the stock price they they used uh the stock price to raise money so if it wasn't for that the cash position would be like literally nothing right now it would be like 50 million which is really bad but 162 million is it's terrible but I just hope their cash burn has been reduced dramatically. Uh, they say that the next earnings report, the SG&A, will be about forty million dollars. Uh, so, and let's hope their revenue is gone up dramatically. But they they guided that the revenue won't. So that's the reason why the stock kind of sold off a little bit. But we'll see. Yeah. To me, it still makes no logic because High Tide makes, you know, prob like a little bit less, like they make one third of the revenue of Aurora, but they're profitable. They made, they made $4 million of profit and they are valued at $37 million Canadian, while Aurora is valued at 
783 million. So Aurora is 20 times the size of High Tide, which to me makes no logic, but that's big money is involved in Aurora. They are gambling that Aurora has, success, uh, has a successful future, and you know, maybe they're locked in and they can't really sell out. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know the logic behind why Aurora even has a $763 million market cap. But that's the scenario and that's the reality. And we'll see where the future goes. I mean, they, they did put a lot of money into their facilities. And now they shut down most of their facilities. They The company probably raised about 1.3 or 1 point... Between 1.3 to $1.5 billion since the it, it, it went public. And the company now is valued at $763 million. It's insane. But anyways, that's it for my video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.